how can you take your meds if you can't really see the meds that you're taking and, you and I'm sure that sense of being overwhelmed is profound actually yes. yeah. but the good news as you've shared with us is that help is available right uh, and you're exactly the kind of person that can knock, knock knock on the door and say hello I'm Sherry well you know the interesting thing is is that with the senior population we have to uh, engage them in a way so that they feel safe with us yes. and I think that having case managers who have a great deal of experience you know working in the home and with this population helps them to be at ease well, I, I can see why Sherry, thank you so much for taking time to share with us. No problem. Thank you. We'll be right back. And now it is time for Caregiver's Corner. As a family caregiver, good communication is very important. It's important that you say and hear what each other have to say, whether it's the family, whether it's the care receiver, or even the professionals that you're working with when you're dealing with doctors and other uh, providers of programs and services. So one of the more important things to do is remember that when you're communicating, that you talk in a way that you will be heard instead of shut down. If you're complaining and whining, people tend to tune that out. But it's more important that you just convey what you need. Also, it's very important to remember the difference between what we call you messages and I messages. If the message says something more like, you're always late, that sounds blaming and starting a fight. But if you say something like, I need to be on time, or I really like to be on time, that's more of what your needs are. If you say things like, you never listen to me, versus I need to be heard, this is what I have to say, it just changes the whole tone of the conversation. So it reminds you of the importance of communicating effectively without blaming and without being turned off. When you communicate effectively, it helps to also build relationships. Why? Because everyone feels that they're having a chance to say what's on their minds. It's important that everyone communicate. Building relationships will make it very successful in order to be a better caregiver, not only for the care receiver, but for the entire family. It also will make you feel better because you feel you're being heard. It releases stress and makes sure that things don't get overwhelming. So practice using I messages rather than you messages so that everyone can thrive. Time for Seniors on Aging. Today the question is, what's it like growing old in Los Angeles? My name is Ignacio Garay, getting old uh, in Los Angeles and uh, getting old anywhere is the same. You got to take it one day at a time. You have to uh, not worry about everything and just be yourself and be good to others and uh, treat others the way you wish to be treated. Uh, you can be nasty one day and nice in another. Life is a circle and what you do will come back and bite you in the behind. So you have to treat life like it is something special, something to cherish. You wish it would go on but sometimes the door closes. Take it one day at a time. Just take it as it comes. And, uh, you know, it, it'll come back the way it should be. I mean, I'm 70 years old now. I didn't expect to get over 30. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that, you know, that's the way it is. <laughs> I'm retired. And that's a whole ball of wax. <laughs> That's it. That's all the time we have for today's show. I want to thank the people of AIDS Project Los Angeles for opening their headquarters to us. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Some good information from all of us at the Department of Aging. I'm Paul Peterson saying, see you next time.